Hey guys, I'm LB, and uh, we're gonna check out the last of Time Machines Are Always Fun by Flooper. And uh, you'll see it says 20 items, but when you actually go there, it uh, you only see 18. 1 through 18. So that usually happens when there's private or deleted items in a collection. But yeah, I'm, I'm not sure about that. So maybe there's more, I don't know, I don't see them. And it'd be weird if there was only 18 per page and the, the, I didn't notice that there's multiple pages. Anyway, so, we've got laser beams, laser walls, laser cubes, laser fun, all the good stuff. I had this idea while playing the Talos Principle demo. Alright then, sounds like a good map already. Let's get started. Seems like Flooper is still very much thoroughly enjoying the Turing test, just like me. Interesting. Wait, that does something else. I hear outside logic when that happens. what that does, but let's figure out what this does. Mainly just this, it seems. Looks like that's required for the ultimate goal of the exit. This is a way to get back if we're trapped. What act... what is that? Oh. Well, alright then. Oh, that is a predicament, isn't it? I know what we have to do. Alright, stop recording. So this has to actually be right here while we're recording. Here, so that our clone tries to grab it from here. Right, okay. Grab... Then, hopefully... This is enough. And then... We take it with us. Walk through the death grill and drop it. All right. So now we move this into a position where the clone will take it, and we may get through here. Ah! <laughs> okay. Well. I know about that now, so I just have to wait a second, and don't immediately go. But we are done. What? 
Oh, I forgot to move the cube. My bad, I should've saved... Didn't I? No, I saved after making the recording, right. Okay, now we just wait. And there's more to this test. Interesting. It's another way to get back if we screw up. I think that's designed to prevent us from leaving the cube there, so that somebody has to be holding it. Oh no, actually... It only goes to the death grill, and this has... to be activated by that and something else. Okay. Well, let's figure this stuff out. So we need this and this. What does that do? Wait, has this death girl always been off? Oh, it's- okay, I see now. What does this do? That turns off this death girl. What is down here? Oh, this is another anti-trapping situation. Got another one here. I have a feeling the clone is gonna have to do this area. Why do I get that feeling? What turns off this fizzler? Oh no, this is actually on right now. Oh, we just couldn't see it from a distance. Wait, what? Was it on the whole time? I didn't even notice it? Surely not. I guess the particles were bugged, because it looks like it was- it's supposed to have been on all whole time. And that we need both things to disable, but seriously, what- what turns off... that fizzler? Why... We could abuse that bug to escape if I gave up, but we're not gonna do that. Oh, 
maybe looking at that Ophizolette. Let's- let's try this again. Can we walk through the Fizzler with it, is my main question. Continue. It looks like it can! Well then, I'm not so sure what's so difficult about this. Yeah, okay. Well guys, as always, thank you for watching. If you hate to sound my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you, and I will see you all... ...in the next episode. Goodbye.